Alright, so we are here at the boardwalk in Perse and we took our bikes from the campground which is called Camping Du Village. It's very close, it's probably about half a kilometer, not even. And as you can see, this is our 24-7 view right there. Guys, we made it to Perse. We are on the boardwalk, saw the famous rock, and it is as beautiful as they say it is. So we are here at the geopark on the top where the glass floor is supposed to be located. Colleen is braving it and taking off her shoes already. Okay. <laughs> All right, so where are we headed, guys? Going to a trail point four. Hopefully, that's it. Let's see what there is. And then afterwards, you're going back for. So how was the zip line? Awesome! <laughs> it wasn't as bad. It was easy. It was easy. It was still scary. Except for the ending, right? The ending, the impact was like, whoa. Right? Thank you. 
we are now here at Chutes de Emerald. It is about 15 kilometers from the town of Perse. And it is indeed Emerald. So we are here now at the town of Gaspe and uh, we're going to check out the birthplace of Canada. Take a look. Hey, good morning everyone. So we are, I'm just going to explain um, a few things here at our campsite. We are checked in at Camping Du Village in uh, Perse, Quebec. So we are checked in at site 14. Um, so just to show you, this is site 15, one over here, we're the ones beside it. So on this side where we were, or where we are at site 14 if you take a look you have some view but not much because there's bushes over here which is not the property of the owners however just over on this side which is site 15 you have a better clear path right here so actually our neighbors got to see a nice view during the day of this but uh, the good thing about it is we were able to put our fire pit all the way in the front so we actually went to the front side of the campground or the the site which is site 14 and if you take a look here our fire pit was here and your view is right up there. Okay, so this is the washrooms in front of our campground. So they have several toilets actually um, and showers. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, six toilets. They also have some showers. Those are your showers. You don't need any coins for these. These are included. And they have hot and cold showers right there. They even have uh, Wi-Fi right here, which is free. So overall, it's pretty good. Um, they're able to accommodate lots of people. They have several uh, washing stations here. Okay. I'm going to give you now the tour of the campground. I'm just gonna speed this up for you guys because I'm sure you don't wanna see all this footage in real time. All right, so what you're staring right now this is site 89 
again site 89 and if you see it is a full hookup right here this one has 30 amp service I'm sure they also have 50 unless I'm wrong check, check the website but it's a full hookup um, the water spigot is is on that side as well and um, so you got a fire pit here but the best part is there's the rock right there so that's your view 24 7 again site 89 or at least in these rows site 89 88 87 right are good views all right so this is site 74 here at camping the village 74 and 75 so with this one you see that the Relatively, they have some facilities. Uh, they have a 30 amp plug. They have uh, water. However, this site, I guess, is uh, there's no sewer. But the nice thing is uh, they have several dump stations across. Um, station, they have uh, two dump stations so far that I've seen. And again, you have your view right there. So it's pretty good on this site. That's 76, 75 and 74 so they also have tent sites over here so there is no facilities for the tent sites there are some you can choose to if you wanted to but these are your tent sites In reality, everywhere you go, there's a view. Um, there, there may be better views for some, but again, you're always close to the rock in Perse, Quebec. Okay, so we are here walking down um, towards uh, the Perser Rock. Now, the original pathway, they blocked that out. However, um, near one of these campgrounds, there is an actual stairs that leads you down to the beach. And it actually goes around and goes towards that rock so we'll see how far we can get without hurting ourselves So we've made it all the way down here in front of uh, the Per Se Rock However, you are not allowed to cross all the way there anymore uh, just because there's a lot of falling debris for safety but getting down here is already an incredible view and getting right up close as much as you can to the famous Per Se Rock. Okay, so just to let you know, just to add to what Christina said um, I found out from uh, one of the, uh, the parks, park rangers, that you can go near the rock through kayak, canoes, or paddle boats, or any watercraft uh, for 100 meters. But anything um, closer than that, you're not allowed because it's a bird sanctuary, as uh, Christina mentioned. Also, with regards to droning, um, you can... Uh, drone as long as it's 1,000 meters away from the rock so if if basically it which, which is a lot lot right to be able to see the rock so but with regards to that it is an amazing view and it's worth seeing okay so we are here at Rue Biard B-I-A-R-D and that's where I went down 
to uh, see the rock. Now, just to let you know, that is the name of the campground that leads to the rock.